Alright, so I want to take a look at a boomerang upgrade today that I normally don't use very often, but I did use it in the last race. The last race, basically, the strategy was all boomerangs, a lot of bomb path, a lot of top path, but we're gonna look at the bottom path in specific, because it's one I don't use very often. It's got the Kylie, it's got the Mob Press, it's got the Mob Domination. Most often times, if you go on that path, you're gonna go for the Mob Press. So I'm in sandbox mode over here. I'm just gonna test real quick. Just wanna see the numbers on these guys, that's all, and then we'll head into a real game after. But let's just test how much damage a 004 does to a Moab, because because normally you use this guy for knockback on the Moab class balloons. Generally not damage, you got other things for that for the most part, but it looked like it did quite a bit uh, in the race, so let me just send a Moab. And how much damage? Uh, with MK, it looks like about 70. So uh, pretty good considering, well, the boomerang is not meant for damage, at least this one. The damage is generally an afterthought, but not bad. Of course it doesn't attack very often though, so I guess it makes sense why the damage is so good. But okay, now that we know how much damage that mole press does, let's just see how bad it is versus round 100. Because as you all know, nothing affects the slowdown, the knockback of the bad. And the thing that sucks with this boomerang is that, well, it won't shoot out its special attack if it's a bad, and it won't do any damage. Kinda sucks because even without the knockback, you would still kinda like the 70 damage every couple seconds, wouldn't you? But nope. You just gotta live with the main Kylie damage, which really, if you're looking, isn't a whole lot, but it's doing like 2 damage every shot and 2 damage every time it comes back. Sometimes a little more than that, but yeah, not really that reliable versus round 100. So, the challenge. We're gonna try to beat round 100 with only bottom path boomerangs. Well, we can cross path, but we're pretty much gonna go only tier 3, tier 4, tier 5. Bottom path boomerangs. So let's give it a shot. We're gonna go into end of the road reverse here, because we don't have the metal for that unlocked yet. Reverse is also vastly, vastly different than uh, normal, normal end of the road. So this is gonna be really tricky trying to change our strategy to to fit the new guidelines of this uh, map over here. Much different, man. Much different. So obviously, Boomerang's can't detect camo. So obviously, we gotta start off, or we got we gotta use villages in this challenge. Villages plus Boomerang's only. No farms. I don't think we need it. Or we probably do need it for round 100, but. I'm gonna play it a little a little fair here. See that if we spend all the money that we get in normal game modes up to round 100, if boomerangs can still take it down, because I probably can predict that if we spam the entire map with boomerangs, if we got all the money from farms and all that, then yeah, it's gonna be pretty easy. So I accidentally got a top path boomerang. The reason why it's an accident is because I'm pretty sure the bottom path cross path is better with a middle. AKA, you want a 023, 024 instead of a 004. Because the top path gives Pierce, the middle path already gives attack speed. Now, I know the attack speed doesn't affect the, uh, the more press. It only affects the Kylie. But considering the Kylie is pretty much the only thing we're gonna use versus the bad, well, you better damn well have it fast attacking rather than have a lot of Pierce to it. Because I think I did test the Kylie itself another time before, and the Kylie does 18. 18 pierce, so let me sell that. Let me get back a 003. Hell, 023? Yeah, 023. But yeah, it's already got a lot of pierce, so you don't really need the top hats to give it even more pierce. I think with the 203, you get 27, so plus 50% pierce, but you do know that adding two middle path upgrades, this attack speed bonus is like close to 50%, so you're pretty much getting the same amount of potential DPS, but attack speed is almost always better than Pierce, let me tell you that, especially for Moabs and late game, because most towers aren't going to hit the Pierce cap, especially with Super Surrounds around. So let's get a village now, real quick, real early, and just so I can save money here, I think we're going to go with bottom path, the monkey combers first, before we get any camo. I mean, we do have mana shield and 150 lives, so we can probably afford to tank it, first and foremost. Gonna try to greet a little bit here while we can, because so far Kylie is uh, holding up pretty well, even just one Kylie. Now, obviously this is an easy map, so of course most towers would hold up pretty well. But hey, so far not too shabby. But I think it's time, I think it's time we get another. One more boomerang. We're starting to get strong balloons, or rather the more strong balloons that start to come in, the more likely this boomerang is to start to miss. I think since the Kylie shoots in straight lines, you might be better off having them, you know, having them on last here, instead of not in the curve, like actually in the curve, but 
when you shoot it, it doesn't quite get a fully straight line, but doesn't really matter too much. I think we're still fine for the most part. But yeah, the good thing about Kylie's is that you don't need a mib. They can pop leads. They can pop black balloons, obviously. They can bomb towers. They can explosions. They can do everything in the book, so we can save about 8,000 bucks there. So we can go for primary training on this guy. Well, actually, we need camo over, so let me just do that for 33. 2,000 bucks for this guy. We're just gonna avoid using Monkey Town, because that way we'll have about like $180,000 for around 100, which I think is pretty fair. So yeah, let's just make this a test and see if 100 to 200 thousand dollars worth of bomb tier boomerangs can deal with all 100 rounds of End of the Road. I think it's about time we start getting a more press, shouldn't we? At least just one of them. Sadly, the more press does nothing versus rounds that are not mob. So we're basically only getting this guy for one round for the next 15 rounds, but we're fine. Two of them seem to like solo up to the 30s. Like it's not even about the map at this point. I know it's easy, but the balloons aren't even aren't even getting past one band. Now, I definitely wouldn't try this on chimps mode if I were you. I think the buying and reselling portion of uh, Impala mode or non-chimps mode is pretty valuable. Because for round 100, you're definitely going to need to sell your more presses since they do nothing versus the bad, or I'd rather have the luxury of doing that than not, just in case we run into dead end on the last round. Because you hate to see it when you lose on the last round. Anyways, round 40. One more press will take out like half the HP, and yeah, the Kylies will take care of the rest. Easy peasy. No issues whatsoever, so you know what? Let's get another village. I think yours decent. One, two, three. We got primary training now. Awesome. And we'll buy two more bottom path upgrades. Get even more of a discount. I don't know if you want to get a mob domination this run, because mob domination, even after the buffs, is really bad. So I'm probably going to not get that, because most of tiers in this game, I'm sure a lot of you would agree, they are inefficient. Like, how much does the mob domination cost on this game mode? 60,000, yeah. And a 024 costs like 3,500. So you'd have to expect this guy to, this mob domination to be worth 15 boomerangs, but I think 15 boomerangs are pretty, pretty valuable, so I'll pass. Like, it's kind of crazy how not worth it these, these guys are. I didn't test the domination sandbox here because I didn't need to. I already know that it's not efficient. I did use it once before, I don't remember when, but it was in a video a while back. The Domination did not do the power of 15 boomerangs. It did not even use the Kylie or the Mall Press ability 15 times faster. It was closer to like 2. Yeah, the damage doesn't even add up to 023s. Like, if we're talking efficiency of 023 versus a 025, by far take 20 023s. Also, here's round 60. I'm not even sure if we need this many Mall Presses. Like, I'm pretty sure at this point we just need 023s. GG, but business isn't finished, we need 40 more rounds to go through. Like, the thing about the more presses is that they don't do much versus DTs. Like, they don't knock back like they do to ZMGs, MOABs, and all that. You know, does a very tiny amount of knockback, also 63. Can we beat this round? There's like 40 ceramics at once. Yeah, not too bad. Although definitely worse than the other rounds, obviously. So let's just get a few more for good measures. I think we should start building towers to the right, or defense to the right. Because now that we're clumping, or now that we used up all the good real estate for the boomerangs, we're running out of, obviously, good spots. Granted, there's still a lot of space left under this village, so let me just fill the range under this village first. At least the valuable real estates, and then we'll get started on a, a new community. And I guess I'll try to save up 60k, if we even can. If we can, then I'll buy it, but if not, then yeah. Thing is gonna go in the dumpster where it belongs. Where most of your fries belong. Okay, so we're into free play now, and well, you see we started another community on the right side, not quite finished. But we're gonna stop right now because well, I still wanna sell the CK for the mob domination, if we can. I'm not sure if this defense is good enough to deal with DATs or all that, but right now nothing has gone past the first bend, aside from balloons, but you see even super strams, no, they're not an issue. We got like 30. 30 Kylie boomerangs, and more than enough damage to, to go through. So I'm not even worried in the slightest. At least not until round 90. Then I'll have some sort of gauge to see if I'm screwed for 95, 99. Like, even though you can't actually push back DTs with the, with the uh, more press, you can still kind of stall them if you have a lot activated at once. We only have 7 right now, which obviously isn't going to do uh, probably nothing. 
but I wonder if we upgrade all these guys to more prizes. I don't know if we have to, but if I will, for 95, 99, I will. Because I think what's actually more important is the more damage from the more press, at least if you're talking about DETs. Like, you see these UMGs, they're getting shredded so quickly. Okay, time for our real taste, our first taste of actual tough gameplay. Three DETs to start off, and... Okay. Two of them got popped really quickly, but the last one did take a while. Also, we're, wow, almost about to die in 91. So clearly, no, we don't have enough. We actually don't. Call me shocked. We probably need to spam more broom rings, I guess, in any place we can. So I'll get more down here. Uh, probably village, honestly. Spam primary villages everywhere. We don't want to leave any uh, Kylie left unbuffed. At least all them other camo too, guys. We need everything versus DTs. So think about 90 there. Because they use their attack immediately when a mob class balloon enters the radius, I don't think they saved up any of their uh, strong attacks for the other DT, so that just left us with Kylie's to do the rest. So that's why. So in that case, we should probably spread it apart. Like, add a more press back here. You see, there's one DT getting insanely far. Not a good look for 95. And we only have 23k to spare, oh no. I'm not sure if we can do this. So how exactly do I go about beating 95 here? Should I get more Kylie's or should I start getting more presses? I'm gonna start by uh, getting presses. The moment we start to see the uh, DTs get really far, like here, I'm gonna upgrade a few of them here. Granted, these ceramics are gonna be what kills us, I think. I can't see that. I can't see that, but I'm pretty sure we're dead there. I don't even know if 95 is beatable at this point. So I highly doubt spamming Kylie boomerangs is going to do very much at this point, like 023s, as you saw there. Like, if 40 can't do any, adding an extra uh, 15 to our current defense is definitely not going to add anything, so let me just do this. More presses everywhere and see what happens. We basically spent all our money here. One more. Another one. And how we doing? How are we doing? Uh, they're falling behind. They're falling behind. So I'm pretty sure we're dead in this round. Damn. Round 100 unsuccessful, but let's just take in the sandbox and see if round 100 is doable. Even if it couldn't beat all those DTs there, all those space DTs and MOABs. I wonder if round 100 has a different story. So okay, I know this isn't an exact uh, recreation of our defense when we died, but let's just run with it anyways. You see I'm not getting any more presses, the only reason I'm doing that is because, well, as I showed you earlier, the more presses zero damage to the bad, it does not even throw it out. This will be about as much as we have at the interest here, but I'm just going to keep adding as we go. See if like it makes a dent at all, because if it doesn't even make a dent, there's no point spamming like the last 27 boomerangs at the back here. And so far, yeah. One layer is not taken off yet. Let me just check one boomerang, see how much damage it does, 200. Okay, now that's actually not too bad. You see the bat is now slightly damaged, so maybe I should have waited, dropped a few more here before I actually uh, let the bat go out, but that's fine. I don't think it's going to make a difference either way though, unless you get like 100 Kylies. We already have like 40, but even then. It's halfway through the track and not halfway damaged, so yeah. That bodes very well, folks. Very well. But we're going to keep trying, see how fast our micro is here. How fast can you drop a uh, bunch of Zoo 2 3s without going over? I already went over once, so. That's already one strike. Three strikes and you're out. Oh, that's two. Ah, well. I think this is a lost cause. Or is it? Um, The mob is. or the bat is almost damaged. All, all the way. Almost all the way. Now it's like one more damage from going through, so. I think now. Now we get presses, because it's gonna pop any moment now. And we wanna blow back all the DTs. It's probably gonna leak. Yeah, it's probably gonna leak. No, 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 DTs aren't gonna leak. Well, the ceramics are. We lost like 80 lives. Yeah, we actually lost 80 lives. Anyways, holy shit. Did you just see the knockback there? That's what happens when they all sync up together. They just push it back like the entire length of the screen. Oh boy. Well, it's not gonna push back the ceramics, of course, but I could see some very interesting things coming from this. So, you know what? I'm gonna stop here. Verdict. I probably wasn't going to beat the bad either way, if I beat the DT rounds or not. I mean, I would have had to sell my 024s to get more 023s, because... Of course, the most important thing first is getting the bad to pop. 
And then I have to sell all the CO2 threes when it pops. I get a bunch of CO2 fours up. And I'm pretty sure we're just gonna die to Saram, so. Verdict, uh, I'm gonna say no. It's gonna be no for me. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned to see any more crazy shenanigans I have in mind. Peace.